Hi everyone, welcome back to Slate Secrets YouTube channel. In this video, I'm sharing with you how I make my tutus pixie cut style. Halloween is right around the corner and I am super excited to celebrate. So without further ado, let's make a tutu. Here is a list of materials that I use. You can add, subtract, divide, multiply, put your two cents in, throw out a quarter, whatever. You make it your own thing, okay? This is just what I use and this is my result. So. The first thing that you want to do is measure your waist or measure whoever's waist is going to be wearing the tutu. So I measured my waist and my waist is about 34.5 inches. I'm using a stretch crochet trim as a sort of belt or band for my waist to bind the tool to. I cut this yard of crochet trim that I have to about 32.5 inches. Since it's super stretchy, I think that it will fit me just right. This next step is probably the hardest step out of the entire process, which is to sew the two ends of the crochet trim together. Not so bad, right? I had two different thread options to use, so I decided to go with the black thread. In between both options is the needle that I use, and you already know what's next. Put the thread through the needle. First, I cut the end of the thread because it could be split. I want the thread to be together so that it's easier to pass the thread through the needle's loop. Once I have successfully thread the needle, I'm going to extend or pull the thread length to about at least eight inches. You want enough thread to secure this band, so be generous. Use what you feel that you need. Otherwise, you will be making another thread, just saying. Okay, my thread is to the length that I feel that I need. So we are going to cut it from the main thread and tie a couple of knots. I just did three simple knots. If you want to make more knots, have at it. If you want to make less knots, so be it. This is your tutu, create it how you want it to look, okay? So now I have the two ends of the crochet trim and I'm folding the outside inwards. I put the two ends of my crochet band together so that I can begin sewing. Take the threaded needle and pass it through the threaded space to form a knot that will lock in and secure the thread. Here's something very important. When I pass the needle through the ends of the trim the first time, we are going to pull the thread all the way to the end where we made those knots and pass the needle through the thread to make a knot just like this. If you don't create this knot, when you pass the needle through the trim, it will literally go straight through, okay? You want to lock in the thread so that you can continue to sew. And now we sew. I'm sewing the ends together first, right to left, and back over what I did from left to right to secure my hand stitch. Then when I make it back to the end where I started, you already know, cut the thread, make those knots to secure what you sewed. You see that? This band is securely fastened. The quality of this crochet trim is excellent. This trim is very stretchy and super strong. Okay, so far everything's looking good. The band is made for our waist. Let's go ahead and cut the tool. I bought the tool by the spool, which is 10 billion times easier to cut. If you buy it by the boat, you're going to have a field day trying to cut that bad boy. So buy a tool by the spool and it will make your life so much easier, trust me. So I want my tutu length to be about 10 inches long, which means that we have to cut out about 20 inches of the tool. I measured my cardboard to about 20 inches long and I'm marking it with a line to see where I need to cut off the excess cardboard. So my gold tool is by Expo International. So I'm going to wrap the tool around the cardboard until it finishes. I'm using the entire spool. I like the Expo International brand better than any other brand. I really like it. It's really thick and the color is vibrant.
Next, using two rubber bands to hold the tool in place so when it's time to cut, it's not moving everywhere. For some odd reason, I was really struggling to cut this tool. I don't know why, but so don't worry if it's not cut straight. We are cutting this tool pixie cut style so it doesn't matter if your initial cut is not straight. So everything is all good. So now we have 40 inches of tool cut and we are going to cut it in half. In order for our tutu length to be about 10 inches long, each strip of tool has to be about 20 inches long in total. So I'm grabbing about five or six slices of the tool that I cut, laying it all flat on my rotary mat so that I can fold it hot dog style. When you fold it hot dog style, make sure everything is even and flat. Then you want to create a diagonal cut starting from the folded end of the tool towards the non-folded end of the tool. And you repeat the same thing for the other side. You can just use scissors if you don't have a rotary cutter and mat. And that is how you do a pixie cut. So now I'm repeating those same steps with the remainder of the strips of tool that I cut. And that is how you create a pixie cut. See that? The cuts were perfect. The cuts that I made were precisely the same size. Since I am doing a two color tutu, the next color is black and I'm using the Fujo brand found at Walmart. And we repeat the same tool cutting process again. I definitely prefer the Expo International brand over this brand. I am not a fan of the texture of this product. And also it is very thin in comparison to the Expo brand. Okay, so I have my two colors cut out. You can actually do the same thing with the third color, with the fourth color, fifth, sixth. You can do however many colors that you want, okay? But for this tutu that I have envisioned, my two colors are cut. Let's go ahead and get to the best part, putting it all together. For viewing purposes, I'm placing the crochet band on a mannequin head for a little bit. Then later on, you will see me transfer everything to a chair. Take one strip of tool and fold it in half so that the two pixie cut points meet. On the crochet band, there are multiple rows. I'm starting off at the second to last row from the bottom. From the second to last row, pick an open space to loop your tool into a knot on the crochet band. In a downwards direction, pass the tool through the chosen open space. Form a loop with the folded tool. Grab the ends of the tool where the pixie cut point is. Pass it through the loop that you formed. This will create a knot on the crochet band. And that's basically it. Repeat those steps for the next following strips of tool. The color style for this tutu is alternating between the gold tool and the black tool. So two spaces will be gold tool, followed by two spaces of black tool, and then repeat. So two gold, two black, two gold, two black, two gold, two black, etc. Okay, so I have about a quarter of the tutu done. This is how it's looking. It's looking so cute. I'm super excited. This is everything that I wanted for this tutu. I'm loving it right now, so let's continue. And we are upgrading to a chair. A chair is normally what you would use to help assist in creating your tutu. Since I don't have a clothing mannequin, this chair is the next best item to use since it is about the same size as my waist. We are almost done. I'm getting excited. This is looking so good right now. 
great thing about this method is that you can undo the knots to change the colors or even reuse the crochet trim for something else later. All right, this is the home stretch. Just a few more knots to go. And this is the final look. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. The tutu is full, is fluffy. You can add more rows. I think this is just right. But if you want a extra fluffy tutu, you can go ahead and make a second row and then a third row if your heart desires it. At that point, it's just all tulle. But this is the final look. I can't wait to wear it on Halloween night. I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know how your tutu turns out. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your tutus. Otherwise, you guys be safe on Halloween. Wear your mask. Okay, six feet apart, all that good stuff. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions. And be sure to be subscribed to Slate Secrets YouTube channel. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.